My name is Logan Brown and you're watching The Road. The pursuit of a dream is a journey all in itself. It can often be a long, winding voyage filled with crossroads and challenges. You are more likely to win the lottery than you are to play a single game in the NHL, which is what makes this accomplishment so exceptional. This is The Road. The positive impact Patrick Laine has made in Winnipeg was elevated only by the amount of time he was able to accomplish it in. It took just four games to score his first career hat trick, and a quarter into the season, he led NHL rookies in both goals and points. I had no doubt that he could score in the NHL, given the chance, if he could find the open ice. That was the real challenge. His ability to score, you know, is clear. I, I'm not sure there's a dozen wingers in the NHL that shoot the puck better than he does, right? I mean, it's just a, it's an extraordinary release. So far, he's he's been able to find the ice and consequently find the net. I think I have uh, only one big goal. To just uh, earn my spot. We have a lot of young talent trying to push themselves to the NHL and I think we're going to be just, just fine. Most highly ranked prospects don't step foot onto an NHL ice surface until a few years after they're drafted. It was a roller coaster year for Jacob Chikrin, who saw his draft stock fall from number two in North America. One thing that remained consistent, however, was Chikrin's confidence in himself and the hard work he was willing to put in to crack the Coyotes lineup as an 18-year-old. You know, you have somebody here who gets drafted 16th overall, 15 teams passed on him, and he comes out and he's on the opening night roster. And what happened after the draft with Jacob, he doubled down in his summer of training, he doubled down in his commitment to become an NHL hockey player. I think the biggest thing that I had in my head growing up was work hard and have fun. He always told me the only thing you can control is how hard you work and you know it really is true. You know you can't really control how chips will fall but you can control showing up to the rink every day and being the hardest working guy on and off the ice. And then the biggest thing really is having fun. You, you can't get to where I am right now without having fun and having a love for the game and wanting to get better and, and wanting to succeed and, and wanting to, to be the best at what you do. And I think that's the mentality I have and uh, it's helped me a lot. You know, some of the comments we got from main camp were that he has the, you know, he carries himself like a veteran. He has the maturity of a veteran. He was in, you know, phenomenal shape. He had a really, really good main camp, which led to a number of preseason games for, for Jacob. And he really, really showed well to everybody in Arizona which led to the confidence they had in asking him to come back and uh, start the season on their opening night roster. He personifies our point that it's all about what you do after you get drafted, and, and that's the big, big thing to focus on once the draft is over and done with. Having secured a roster spot with the Arizona Coyotes this season, Chikrin reflects on what his experience has been like so far playing hockey at the highest level. You know, you get all the resources you possibly can think of to, to be successful. And, you know, I just love the lifestyle. It's like it's either a game day or it's not. It's an organization that has a bright future with all the young crop of prospects they have. And it's complemented very well by a great group of veteran guys. And, you know, at the end of the day, I want to win and, and be successful and help my team win. And so, you know, that's, that's really the biggest reason why I love this lifestyle so much. When I watched uh, Chick play in his first game, it actually gave me chills. You know, we have, uh, we have such a close relationship. I actually texted him after his first goal and FaceTimed him a little bit. And, you know, we talked about that kind of stuff growing up as kids. So, you know, I can only imagine how awesome it was for him and his family. But being as close as we are, me and my family, we were both so excited for him. Logan Brown, selected 11th overall by the Ottawa Senators, got to hit the ice in a Senators jersey for the first time at the NHL Rookie Tournament and in NHL preseason action. Uh, wearing that jersey was awesome. I mean, it's the first time you can you can put on an NHL jersey and, and really be a part of the team. So it was, uh, again, a dream come true. And, and playing in my first exhibition game, that was, uh, that was really cool as well. Cracking an NHL lineup often requires proper timing and opportunity. 
and organizations can often have contrasting methods for developing their future talent. You know, in Logan's situation, I know that you know, they very much wanted to get the team that they would have on the opening night together. You know, it being a new coach, they wanted to get organized in that regard, and so they sent Logan back to junior. I don't think it can hurt a player if they're going to go back and, and dominate their league host a Memorial Cup. You know, I think there's various things lined up for Logan this season that are going to be tremendous for his development. But do I feel that, you know, he could have had some more preseason action and potentially some regular season games? Absolutely. But again, we leave that to, uh, to management, to the teams, and I know they're doing what they think is best for his own development. It's a process getting to the NHL. While there's a few who can play in the NHL and be successful at 18 or even 19, the vast majority are not going to start their career until age 20. There's lots to learn in junior hockey. There's leadership, there's being accountable night in and night out, leading your team both on and off the ice. So you have to be productive and you have to also make people around you better. And those are skills that you're not going to learn in the American League. You need to have them before you get to the pro hockey. Ultimately, the importance on player development for career longevity is in the best interest of both the players and organizations. For some, that means an immediate roster spot on their respective NHL team, while others will be back on the bus in junior hockey, leading their team and paving the way towards their future NHL career. Both Brown and Stanley will be eyeing up the Memorial Cup this spring, but they'll have to get through an armored night looking to defend his title. This is The Road.